around, especially the people that come into your life or into your into your space. Uh, we are going to we are going to start by reading the word of God. We are going to start by reading the word of God, and uh, I want to believe that God is going to uh, to greatly bless us. So, if you are coming in right now, um, uh, this is day two, and uh, we are dealing with toxic relationship, uh, toxic associations, and friendship. I'm reading from the book of Proverbs. I'm reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter number twenty-two, uh, verse number twenty-four and twenty-five. Proverbs, chapter number twenty-two. Chapter number 22, verse 24 to 25, the Bible says, Do not make friends with hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one easily anchored, or you may learn his way and get yourself ensnared. Let me read that one again. Do not make friends with hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one easily anchored. Or you may learn his ways and get yourself ensnared. When I read this scripture, it means that there are some characters that are adopted. There are some characters that are adopted. And those characters can be adopted by the people that we allow into our space. If you allow yourself to get around somebody that is always angry, somebody that cannot be able to control their anger, the possibility is you might find yourself manifesting on that lie or doing things that you may not be able to control because most of the characters are learned. And that is why the scripture says that do not make friends with a hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one who is easily anchored. For or you may learn his ways and get yourself ensnared. So you need to understand that there are characters that are learned. And that is why nobody just wakes up and get himself or herself into a particular character. For example, uh, if you are in primary, there is a way... There is a way that there is a way that school has got an influence over the person. If you are in primary, there is a way. There are certain people that will meet who are raised up differently, and you can find that their characters can easily influence you. When you go to high school, also you find that high school has got a way that it changes children. You find that there are some characters that your children can come back with easily of which are not characters or the culture that is of your house. And also church has got a way that it influences people. The people that you meet in a particular church and the lifestyle they live or the way they threw things into that church, that also will determine the direction that you ought to take. So when we speak about dealing with toxic friends and toxic association, we find that Toxic friends are friends that make you feel bad. Toxic friends are friends that make you feel bad. Have you ever been around somebody that always just make you feel bad? There is nothing that they can ever see anything good about you. In fact, when these people, they come into your space, you always feel that you are drained. Sometimes you can be around a person whereby the moment you leave their presence, you find that even to pray, you cannot be able to pray. To read the word of God, you cannot be able to read the word of God. To do the usual study, you cannot be able to do. Because they don't influence your life positively, but they influence your life negatively. Toxic people, they influence our lives negatively. And that is why these are the kind of people or the kind of people that you know that the kind of friends that is emotionally demanding, anytime you are around them, they will always speak a lot of things and the things they are speaking, they do not encourage you, but they discourage you. They are emotionally demanding.
They are always in a constant one-sided competition with you. Sometimes you find that they don't grow anything. They don't grow you. They don't grow anything. They don't grow you in any way. But the only thing they can do, they always make you feel that you are down. Sometimes I've been in a friendship whereby I find that some of the friends that we relate to them, but they only want to compete. If you buy a new dress, they want to know where you bought the dress. If you, bought, if you buy a new shoe, they want also to buy that shoe. If you do something, they want to do the same thing. Even without knowing the formula on how you did it, they still want to do it. Those are the toxic people. They are always one-sided competition with you. They can never let you go beyond them, but they always want you to feel that you must always be under them. Now, someone that will always talk behind your back, they will always be passive, aggressive, and they will say things purposely so that they can be able to put you down. Have you ever been in such a kind of people or encountered them? Anytime they speak something, you will do something, but they will not appreciate you. Today, yesterday, but one, I posted up a status that said that you have to be very much careful and you have to constantly monitor people that do not clap to you anytime that you win. Because those people that do not appreciate you when you succeed, those people that do not appreciate you when you have a breakthrough, those people that do not have to up appreciate or congratulate you they are always potential betrayers because you never know what they are thinking in their hearts if they are not appreciating your success and such a kind of people you'll always find that they only rejoice when you pass through adversity but they cannot rejoice when you pass through a breakthrough these are the kind of people that we find ourselves into and that is why which seems like an example practical truth but it can be quite controversial thing to say because some friendship are habitual and people hold onto it some friendship can be habitual habitual come from the word habit they are people who accommodate friendship because of her habit and that is why you find that there is somebody 